Blood stains on broken glass, a crime scene that could be out of a heist film. But it's the Mineral Museum in Franklin after thieves broke in through a back window Monday morning. Earl Verbeek discovered the scene when he came to work at 9. They put up a ladder against a pitched roof, climbed up the pitched roof to the windows, smashed two of the windows, tied a rope around the support post between the two windows, and then climbed down the rope. They pocketed more than $30,000 in gems, minerals, and precious stones. Verbeek says as they stole what looks the most valuable to an untrained eye. They went after faceted gemstones and one gold specimen, so it doesn't look like they're mineral collectors. Detectives say the silent alarm first went off at 4.40 a.m., but when police responded, they didn't see anything, so they left. By the time police came back, five hours had gone by. There's no way for the officer to have seen uh, any damage to the facility or to have known that anybody had entered the facility based on the entry uh, of how they made it through the, uh, through the rear of the building on a second store. The museum does not have surveillance cameras, but the glass display cases seem to cut one of the culprits, leaving a trail of DNA evidence that detectives hope will lead to the culprits. In Franklin, New Jersey, Ali Bauman, CBS2 News. Detectives are asking anyone who's noticed someone with an unusual laceration to contact police.